Powerwall 3, the Tesla's latest hit, and Point Guard, a new challenger in the market. Who would win? We're going to compare these to battery products from a few angles aside from price, configuration, footprint, environmental compatibility, installation and maintenance, load flexibility, and bonus points. Let's review the configuration options. The Tesla Powerwall 3 includes an 11.5 kilowatts hybrid inverter with a fixed 13.5 kilowatt R battery. It supports up to four units in parallel and offers six MPPT interfaces, each with a 13 amp max current, handling up to 20 kilowatts of solar input from the DC side. In comparison, Point Guard's inverter provides up to 11.4 kilowatts power and has to battery pack options 5 and 8 kilowatt hour that can be combined in nearly 20 configurations, ranging from 5 to 37 kilowatt hour per stack. For larger setups, Point Guard supports up to 7 stacks in parallel, totaling 259 kilowatt hours, each with a 16 amp max current accommodating up to 20 to 0.8 kilowatts of solar capacity. Point Guard also supports solar input with four MPPT interfaces. In conclusion, Point Guard is more flexible in terms of configuration. Talking about footprint, both products are space efficient, needing only battery packs and a gateway to set up. But with Point Guard's modular design, you can get up to 37 kilowatt hours in a single stack. Powerwall 3, on the other hand, would need three packs for that capacity, so Point Guard ends up saving more space. Let's look at how these batteries handle the environment. Tesla Powerwall 3 works from minus 20 to 50 degrees Celsius and has NEMA 3R rating, fine for most outdoor setups. Point Guard, on the other hand, works from minus 30 to 55 degrees Celsius with a tougher NEMA for X rating protecting better against dust, water, and corrosion. For extreme climates, like hot Texas, Arizona, cold Alaska, or coastal Florida, Point Guard's design is likely the better fit. Now, let's go over installation and maintenance. The Tesla Powerwall 3 is heavy at 395 pounds per module, needing either for people or two with a dolly to install. Point Guard, by comparison, is just 160 pounds per module, so two people can handle it without extra equipment. Point Guard's modules stack naturally, so there's no need for cables between units. Both systems are capable of AC coupling, so they work with existing solar setups. For maintenance, Point Guard is designed to be more future-proof. All modules share the same size, enclosure, and connectors, making it easy to swap or mix modules. If one pack has an issue, you can replace it without disturbing the rest. Over time, you can even upgrade to newer or higher capacity modules within the same system, making maintenance much simpler than other setups. Down the road after 10 years, you don't want to worry about parts not being available anymore. Both Tesla Powerwall 3 and Point Guard come with panel boards featuring a transfer switch, Gateway 3 for Powerwall and the Load Hub for Point Guard. So no extra sub-panel and transfer switch is needed, and both support 200M service. For load positions, Gateway 3 supports 8, while Point Guard offers more flexibility with 19. Point Guard's load hub also supports up to 5 smart loads, all controlled remotely via a mobile app, and it allows existing solar inverters to connect and being controlled without a CT. Well, Powerwall 3 does not support smart load and need extra CT installed. Point Guard's load hub further includes a generator port with two wire start and stop control from the battery. Both systems offer seamless transfer switch functionality for automatic outage detection, but Point Guard stands out with its additional load capacity. Smart load control, generator port, and easy solar inverter integration. Finally, we come to the bonus feature something truly cool and surprising. This goes to Point Guard's bi-directional DC charging. That's supporting vehicle to home and vehicle to grid. An inbuilt charging module can be installed like a battery pack right below the inverter. 
This module provides up to 25 kilowatts of direct DC charging to your electric vehicle, eliminating the need for a separate AC charger or subpanel in your garage. Meanwhile, your vehicle can power your home through this module when there is a grid outage. Point Guard is the first commercial battery system to offer this function. Finally, we're scoring the two products across six areas. Five aspects have a max score of 10, while installation and maintenance get a max of 20, as they're crucial for solar installers and DIY users. Configuration, Powerwall 3 scores 5, while Point Guard scores 9. Powerwall 3 offers only one large battery pack size, which could lead to wasted investment if users don't need that much capacity, like 5 kilowatt hours or 15 kilowatt hours. Footprint, Powerwall 3 gets 7, and Point Guard gets 9. Powerwall 3 is efficient, but for a full home backup of around 40 kilowatt hours, it requires three large packs, taking up significant space. Environmental compatibility, Powerwall 3 scores 6, and Point Guard scores 8. Point Guard's NEMA for X is better than Powerwall's NEMA 3R and operates from minus 30 to 55 degrees Celsius, wider than Powerwall's range. Installation and maintenance, Powerwall 3 is heavier and requires more manpower and specialized tools. Point Guard's modular design simplifies maintenance individual packs can be replaced without disrupting operation. It's also adaptable to different chemistries and capacities, future-proofing against compatibility issues. We scored Powerwall 3 at 15 and Point Guard at 19. Load flexibility, both perform well, though Point Guard has slightly more functionality. Bonus. Point Guard includes a bidirectional DC EVE charger integrated into the battery rack. Final score, Powerwall 3 scores 41, while Point Guard scores 65. This comparison doesn't include factors like price, quality, or brand reputation. If you'd like more details on the features of each product, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.